If you want to support the channel, check out my book in the description down below and coming up in both the Albany, New York area in 2022 and the Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania area. We have both a treehouse building, hands-on workshop, and a tiny house building workshop. Check them out, relaxshacks.com. So I'm looking a mess because I just finished a job tearing in a deck for somebody and salvaged a ton of pressure-treated wood that's tied up on my roof, which by itself, being a treehouse builder and with the cost of lumber, is worth quite a bit alone. It'll certainly be put to use. Um, sorry, I'm like eating a slice of pizza as I film here on the go. Uh, so I'm driving by, I'm late to pick up my daughter at school and I see on the side of the road, I'm like, oh my God, those look like, like baseball card flats, the big flat boxes for collecting. I'm like, there's no way. But I said, I'm turning around. And as I pull around, I see the sign on top of them. It says baseball cards free. So uh, we're gonna investigate what I just hauled in. Okay, this is way too good to be true. Free baseball card side of the road, not lying, right here. Flipping it. That or this is some cruel joke. Jesus. It's two dealer flats of baseball cards. Crazy. That is just crazy. They're probably all garbage. They look like junk wax, but whatever. All right, we're back at the ranch. And as you can see, I started sorting through some of these and to my surprise, pleasant surprise, there are, and it's a year I like in tops. Before my time collecting, there's a lot of 1981 tops in here. Um, I'll show you in a second, I'll turn the camera, some of the other stuff in here. There's some good, there's some bad, there's certainly some ugly. I'm gonna sort through some of these so you can see and we'll probably quickly determine, and I kind of have a thought or guess already if this lot is worth anything or just a load of crap it is I mean I knew off the top when I opened it and took a peek it's the junk wax era primarily but there might be a couple surprises in here I'm not gonna sort through the whole thing because honestly I could just flip this as commons as an unsorted lot at least I have not sorted through it I'm not gonna sort through all of it and make some okay money uh, just to some you know fledgling collector someone who's just looking for some bulk cards for cheap real quick um, I might separate the 81 tops or any of the older stuff from it and sell that as another lot even if there are comments because while 81 tops aren't really that valuable they are fairly old and because of that they have an appeal as well but that said let's check these out all right here I am in my Crocs glory it's gorgeous outside I think I said that already but it just it's amazing so I want to do this outside um, so there's quite a stack of 85 tops. Now, 85 tops, there aren't too many incredible cards. I think there was the like, wasn't the Mark McGuire Olympic team card in here? You know, there's players like Nolan Ryan, those kind of guys you want to be looking for. That in almost 80, any uh, 80s junk wax set, they're usually the most valuable players, even though they're not worth too much. Um, let's see, Dwight Gooden, you know, a Kirby Puckett card would be cool, not worth a ton. So I'm gonna move in closer here. And I'll probably just edit and zoom. I'm gonna look through these and we'll get a quick feeling as to what's in this stack. Pags, yeah, the 84 United States baseball team, so no McGuire there. Yeah, Dave Parker, he's okay. Darrell Evans, I always liked him. Von Hayes, I don't need to narrate. Bill Buckner, I live in the Boston area, I'm a Red Sox fan, Bill Buckner is a top name around here and RIP to the guy who you know wasn't primarily or fully his fault uh, had a tough life after that famed miss missed ground ball Tony Perez Marty Barrett there you go Fodica Odeby McDowell Marzano love another Buckner Templeton if we're going too fast too bad because there's a lot to look through and I'm not gonna look through all of them I promise you here's these things you could send off to win whatever um, already I'm getting a sense that like if I haven't found one really good player by now this might have been a lot that was sorted through oh Jim Rice Jim Rice I'm a big fan of him so in okay shape a really bad cut on that one actually in pretty poor shape Willie McGee always liked him Tony Tony Benga Oh, Jack Clark, Keith Hernandez, Gary Green, 
who went on to do huge things. Now this is just a record breaker card like a Pete Rose. Not really worth anything, but cool enough. That'd be something that probably would be still left in like a common set because it's not Pete's regular card. Quisenberry, the famed sidearm pitcher. Um, I'll also note that I'm, you know, every once in a while, I have a, I do a lot of graffiti art. Deke Diedrichson art on Instagram. I do a lot of graffiti and baseball cards because they're it kind of taps into the graffiti and art fans, but also um, fans of baseball cards. Some call it heresy sacrilege but cards like this they're worth nothing so ones that have interesting color in terms of background schemes and layout and just graphic design in general especially dated looking ones I'll throw in my sacrificial pile which I'll show you later and maybe I'll show you a couple cards I've graffitied Bob Stanley Bedrosian yeah I'm not seeing anyone so I'm thinking like you think I would have come across like a you know Mattingly Nolan Ryan or someone by now Sorry, I'm trying to face these your way. Marty, you know, I, Kirby Puckett would be nice. R.I.P. Yogi Bear, I'm just putting that one aside just because it's Yogi. Hey, boo boo. Uh, I always like these the, the coloration on this this year, 85, the Angels. Charlie Liebrandt. Uh, let's move to 81 in a second. I'm not seeing much here. So I'm probably gonna sell these as just an uns you know, while I'm looking through like maybe one thirtieth of them. If that, I'm gonna uh, list them as a unsorted lot that I really don't know about. It's not worth my time and I'll show you why. Like if you look through here, a lot of a huge stack of Bowman cars, a lot of late 80s and 90s. Uh, there were a few 89 upper deck, but it was such a small pile. Um, thank God there's no 88 tops, which is like the worst set ever, except, except for the Tom Glavin rookie, which is worth like nothing. This is what, 1990? 90 tops, which pretty worthless as well. There's a couple cards here and there, but is it worth me sorting through all these? Probably not. Let someone else have the fun. Um, tons of 86 tops over here. And this is, I started collecting packs as a kid in 85, then feverishly in 86. So. These, uh, and then 87, big time as well. These have a spot in my heart, but some of these will go in the graffiti art lot because there's really nothing that good in the 86 top set that's worth much. All right, 80, 81. Steve Trout. Uh, I'll pull out any that are particularly funny too. Uh, Pete Lecoq, if we find him, you know, <laughs> the, the famed cards, the names. Uh, you know, a lot of these future star rookie cards. I always like these, they're just so old school looking. Oh, Williams, so I'm going pretty fast with these because I'm not seeing anything. Lou Pinello, sweet Lou. I'd like a Nolan Ryan or a Ricky Henderson. A Harold Baines would be cool. Fernando Valenzuela, that was his rookie year, I believe. Ken Brett, I wish it was George Brett. Sorry, Ken. It'd be tough to live in the shadow of like, you know, if you're related to someone in baseball and they're particularly awesome. You know, Billy Ripken versus Cal. Although Billy Ripken had his moment in the sun with the F face card. Uh, let's see. Tommy Boggs. Yeah, I'm going fast, guys, here. I apologize. But I'm not a patient man. I'm not seeing anything here. Like, you think by now they'd be like a great player. I'll show you some of the good ones I found. Ray Knight. That'd be kind of fun to graffiti this one and give him like a knight in shining armor helmet or something. Maybe I'll put that one aside. If you've ever seen the baseball card vandals, um, they're probably the most famous for doing that. I've been doing this for years as well, but I just don't do it that frequently. They're pretty cool. Check them out. Shout to them. Garmin Thomas, Fergie Jenkins. Uh, no one there. Lee Brand, Al Oliver. Let me show you a couple okay ones I found. They're over here. And again, nothing, nothing that exciting. Could be something in here. Uh, you know, there's players in here that are name players. Steve Garvey, it's an all-star. Gary Carter, Terry Francona, just because of his ties, particularly to the Red Sox. Also, uh, Keith Hernandez, 81 tops. Jim Rice. Louis Tiant. These are just players I like. Bucky Dent. Hated by Red Sox fans. Worldwide. Fitterich. 
R.I.P. again, who made a very untimely, horrible demise, who was a great player, charismatic dude, another Lou Pinella. Willie Randolph, uh, Steve Carlton, Cecil Cooper, Goose Gossage. Some of these are upside down for you, depending on which way I'm editing this. I'm filming upside down. Burt Blylevin, I always liked him. Phil Negro. I'm not finding anything that awesome. Um, let me look through one more quick pile. I was hoping there was some more uh, 81 tops, but I don't think so. This is going to be the litmus test right here. Were these sorted through? 86 tops, like I said, they're pretty worthless if you're still with me. Let's readjust this if I can. I'm having a tough time like holding the cards up to the screen. I'll have to like crouch. Very awkward to film this. So if we're not finding any stars in here, when even the stars are almost worth nothing, you know that this was just someone's commons collection they were dumping. Which, don't get me wrong, it's still kind of awesome and fun finding these. I'll put these to use. Someone else can use them to fill out their sets, whatever. I mean, if I get 20, 30, 40 bucks for the pile of this stuff, it paid for my gas for the day and then some. Although these days it's like a gallon of gas. Uh, Mike Flanagan, Urbano Lugo, some cool names, dudes I forgot about. Yvonne de, de Jesus. Jimmy Key, Crawford, Nipper, Rich Gedman. I'm trying to get the glare out of here because some of these have that like shine in them. Daryl Boston. Yeah, I'm seeing a lot of repetitious ones. I'm thinking a lot of these were sorted out. They're junk commons. I'll sell them in like maxsoul.com on Facebook Marketplace. I got no use for them. I'm kind of thinning out my collection tags as it is. Bud Black. Atherton. See, I haven't so far. You think it's in the math. Within that pile of cards, it would have been one semi-star. You know, even like a Vince Coleman I would take. Uh, let's see. Ed Romero. Be cool to turn that to a George Romero, director of Night of the Living Dead, and make it a zombie card. <laughs> That'd be kind of cool, actually. But it, it's one of those, the photo is so distant. You know, trying to avoid the glare here. Sorry, guys. Quisenberry. We found a lot of Quisenberries in here. Yeah, I'm thinking there's lots of bust, but hey, the price was right. Come on down. Yeah, like, so far, not a single good player. Not even really minor stars, or not many of them. Okay, Yankees, here we go. Cowley, Andre Robertson, Ken Griffey. Yeah, Phil Necro, Record Breaker, Danny Jackson, Dave Parker, I like him. Rigetti, Rags. Um, yeah. That about sums it up. Kind of fun looking through them. I'm not going to waste my time, honestly, because i got other things to do. Time to profit ratio, not worth it to sort through all these. I just don't have the patience for it. So I'm just going to sell them for what they are. Oh, yeah, if you're wondering. Sarcastic comment. Loading. Please wait. Anyway, thank you guys for watching as always. Sorry about the sun, the glare here, and the bobbling camera. Just an impromptu video here on Streets Shall Provide. In this case, they certainly did provide. Not hugely, but I will make money off these. They won't be in a landfill. They will be reused and go on to someone else. And I thank you for watching. Please subscribe. Leave a comment. Maybe I missed some cards. Ooh, <laughs> tripod falling over. Maybe I missed some cards in there. Um, there's probably a bunch of stuff you might know about some of these sets that I do not. Most of the stuff in here is like 91 tops, 91, you know, Fleer, some of those. I just don't care about those. But the 81 tops were fun to look through. Even the garbage ones are kind of cool looking. They're so retro and dated. Thanks for watching, guys. We'll see you later. By the way, here's my pile I'm starting of just some random ones to graffiti and do art pieces on that I will maybe list online or sell by word of mouth through my Facebook page. Just picking a random, random array, some with some good color scheme of cards. I'll probably take about 20 of them out of the set, all no names, and just kind of mess with them. It, these will make far more money, far more than me selling all of these, I promise you, because I usually sell these about 12 bucks a pop.